Well, I mean... That's why we're gonna educate ourselves today, chat. Get your... Textbooks ready. Where is my textbook, chat? Chat, I have lost my textbook. No, I need to write this down. I found, I found, I found the textbook. Chat, I found the te textbook. Can you hear this? I got paper. Paper. Paper, right here. We need to take notes, chat. We need to take notes. Take the notes, take notes. You can hear this? Paper. Paper, paper, paper. So, 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 so. Femboys explained. Femboys. Colloquially, well, might be called fembology. I think technically speaking is femboyology. Again, colloquially as femboys with an I. In terms of pronunciation, I think we are talking about femboys. Mm -hmm. as, as most of our definitions do, coming from Wikipedia, femboy is a slang term for a young <laughs> male who displays traditionally feminine characteristics. So sure. a male who displays traditionally, right, feminine characteristics. A little bit of a history. Felix, the word from fanboy emerges by at least the 90s, the 1990s, and beginning as a sort of derogatory term for a man who didn't adhere to, here's the word again, traditional standards huh. of masculinity. Uh, being a slang shortening of the word feminine, right, right here. And boy, obviously coming from the fact that they are male. It, it does seem that, uh, especially in internet culture, uh, that femboy, the <laughs> term femboy, <laughs> has emerged as sort of a positive term, uh, appealing to a range of individuals who might be attracted um, to a mix of feminine and masculine. Uh, traits, uh, mm -hmm, perhaps mm -hmm. even prompting a genre of, of internet media. In recent times, uh, the platform Pornhub oh. has even introduced the term femboy as a searchable category. Wait, is that true? I... What, what was the control shift then? How do I open... How do I open a not safe for work tab? <laughs> How do I open a not safe for work tab? I mean a private tab. Uh, how do I do this chat? Control shift N is... Uh, okay, let Okay. Corn hop. I mean a corn hop. Uh, ich bin älter als 18. Uh... Okay, that's a lot of corn. Categories. What? Where do I see categories? Where do I see categories of... <laughs> are you now? <laughs> oh, oh, I found categories. Uh, con uh, mehr anzeigen, mehr anzeigen, mehr anzeigen. Control F, fem. Well, you heard it there. It didn't find anything. Maybe it's because it's in German. What if I go into English? Show more. Control F. Them. I can't find a femboy category chat! It's exposing herself as a longuna. <laughs> chat, there is no. Can't find the category section. I, I have. I am looking at categories. Literally looking at categories right now. And there's nothing called femboy. Well, I've been lied to. What the fuck? On its website, and that happened in 2013. It exists where? And, uh, it's in the search bar. In the search bar? Wait, okay, let me, let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Control shift and Pornhub.com. I'm older than 18. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. So, how do I. How do I do this? Videos, femboys, models, femboys. Videos, channels. I don't understand. Type it in, go. I typed it in, but just be typing in a fucking thing doesn't mean it's a category. 
Just typing in fanboy doesn't mean it's a category? Like, am I s <laughs> Like, am I delusional or something? Just typing something in doesn't mean it's a category? Like, what the fuck? That just means it's a term? She's so stubborn. <laughs> no, I'm not stubborn. I want the fanboys. Chat. Chat, I want the fanboys. I want the fanboys. That's why I need to know. And... If you don't teach me how to use corner properly, I found it in your edit. I will never know. <laughs> and since then, the, the the search interest for the term has dramatically increased. So the, you know, again, we're we're going back to the idea much. of of uh, the origins of femboy <laughs> being, you know, uh, Wikipedia states derogatory and, and becoming more and more, you could say perhaps is, uh, dare I say, co-opted. I would like to make the comparison to like the word weeaboo, weeb. Yeah, sure. Uh, starting People as a are now something uh, a little me. derogatory, but being being used. Yeah, like same for like nerds. It's uh, just the same. Uh, we are like proud weebs. We're proud nerds. It's something to be proud of now. Sometimes tongue in cheek, but definitely becoming a, a sort of positive um, um, term. Uh, that you know, I, I do think it's it's not wrong of me to say that someone that uh, we would think fits in this category of femboy would refer to themselves as a femboy. Femboy, the term, right? As I just said, it, it, be, it came to be adopted as a self descriptor, uh, yeah. descriptor for guys who tend toward presenting feminine, uh, a scale of femininity, some more than others, some less, uh, for non-sexual purposes, right? The, these persons adopt femininity as a form of everyday okay. non expression, gender okay. expression. Okay, okay, got right, it, right. got Donning it, write that down, write that down. <laughs> traditionally, feminine aesthetic by wearing, um, it could be a range, right? It can include all of the following or, or one, um, wearing makeup, feminine clothing, dresses, thigh highs, panties, mm -hmm. garner belts, mm -hmm. okay. and chokers. Hey! Being a femboy, <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't necessarily tie to any sexual orientation. Very often, the question is, is it gay? Complicated answer. I know- Jet! Is it gay to like femboys? Answer it now. Oh, if I would have asked this two years ago, everyone would have said no. <laughs> you Depends on you. Eat your pirate. Thanks for the follow. What's the title of this of the video? It's Fanboys Explained. Yes, Y to the E to the S. Do you want a yes or no answer? And it simply, it cannot be done. To, to, to tackle the question, are femboys gay? Very common question. Um, a little uninformed and, you know, a little ignorant if you, you ask me. But I'm not here to judge, I'm here to, to teach. In quant- Okay, chat, I have another question. If a female- Example, me? Likes fanboys, is that gay? Or am I just straight? Edgy <laughs> <laughs> straight, that's lesbian. <laughs> also downright common, uh, but I know fun people. <laughs> What? Quantum mechanics. You're gay. Strodinger's cat is a thought experiment that illustrates a paradox of quantum superposition. Strodinger's yeah. cat, literally a cat in this thought experiment, um, in, is encased in this in this box, right? And there's a flask of poison right here, and a radioactive source placed in a again in a sealed box. Um, yes. If an internal. Yeah.
Wonder Arts! Thanks for the five gifted! Wonder Arts gifted five subscriptions to the community. Thank you so much! I appreciate that. Monitor. Um, in this case, a, a Geiger counter detects radioactivity um, as in a so single kind. atom decaying, the flask right here is shattered, releasing the noxious poison, which in turn kills the cat. The Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics implies that after a while, the cat is simultaneously both alive or dead. Yeah, sure. The thought like experiment cat. is that once you look into the box, you can see that the cat is either going to be alive or dead. When you literally open the box, you can't see it both be alive and dead. It's either going to be alive or dead. But by that logic, you observe, I shall say liking fanboys is not gay. <laughs> it to be before you open the box to look inside and shooting a fanboy actually. <laughs> It's either alive or dead until you confirm it. Strodinger's Pathetic, cat isn't it? Yep. or another, a.k.a. Strodinger's femboy. Gay and not gay at the same time. It doesn't feel right to say it's strictly gay, but it's definitely not straight. This harkens back to the definition of gender expression being, you know, feminine as a guy. Um, the mm -hmm. world is not black and white. Binaries. We work in shades of gray. Yeah. Or yeah. shades of gay. <laughs> Moving on. Any questions about that? I, I think I'm being pretty straightforward. 30 about shades of gray. Should you say femboy, uh, shades of gay? Again, can be a sort of gender expression role. It doesn't always have to be sexual. However, uh, maybe a little misguided to completely ignore that side of things. So, you know, we're going to be talking gay. about uh, and, you know, this is This is a subject that I'm uh, very familiar with, in fact, uh, our groundbreaking research on this subject is what got me my initial platform here at Ligma University. Yeah. I'm going to be talking about the bussy. bussy. Why is it so submissive and breedable? You know, we talk about the bussy, we talked about submissive and breedable, and that the <laughs> intersection Spoiler alerts, we're gonna watch a video as well about submissible and breedable explained. <laughs> Spoiler alerts, so... Uh, chat, do you like the bussy? Chat. Section, the union rather, is bussy, but we don't, we never answer the question, why the bussy? On the surface level, one might consider a male's entrance to be the exact opposite of, of breedable. Uh, when compared to the conventional woman's bussy, yeah, one might or say, wussy, but who is that one? As I call it, um, but that is the exact reason why the bussy is so desirable. I, I think it has to do with subversion. The fact that mm -hmm. the male entrance is not supposed to be bred makes it that much more desirable. Like a cookie Ooh. jar that your mom left out. You can only have is one this after true, dinner. Chet? Don't go near that cookie jar. Is you this know, true, Chet? Don't go, hey, hey, get out of my, get away from my bussy. Um, again, a woman's bussy, a wussy, is uh, traditionally, <laughs> biologically meant to be bred. A wussy? But to breed another male, to dominate another male. I mean, what is more masculine than that? <laughs> I can't think of anything more masculine than making another male submit their bussy to you. Honestly, the I think that's pretty act manly. Of masculinity. Yeah, actually, fact, man. The ultimate act of heterosexuality, if I've ever seen it. It's legit. Fight or flight. You're in the wild, hunting for, you know, that bussy in the jungle. It's about who is the apex predator? Who is the <laughs> apex bussy blaster in the wild? Eat or get eaten. A little bit of history. Not sure how Let's you go. pronounce this. Kolchek? It looks Kolchek. Turkish. Um, what is the Kolchek? The Kolchek, plural being Kolchekler in Turkish, was oh, typically was right. a very handsome young male. Um, unfortunately, perhaps a slave. Any uh, Turkish Bacchus, people here in chat? A dancer who usually cross-dressed in feminine attire and was Wait. employed as an entertainer. Wait, what? <gasps> Wait, what? Uh, we, we don't have any pictures. Of course, pictures didn't exist back then, but I imagine something like this. Kolchek. Before starting their performance, uh, these Turkish dancers, these Kolcheks, male dancers, would dance among the spectators 
to rile them up to get them more excited. Too? Wow, um, I didn't this know. Is, this really speaks to how how you know we talk about why the bussy. This is why the this is why the bussy <laughs> to garner the attention of these kocheks by people sitting in the audience often caused so much Rome. commotion okay. and and altercations, fights. Men in the audience. Women would go are over. wild. They would literally fight each other. They'd break their glasses. Women they would are shout, over, men. kill each other. Yes, you heard me. Men in Turkey would kill each other for the bussy. History. If we don't learn from it, we're doomed to repeat Yo? ourselves. And it seems like we are repeating <laughs> in full force. The femboys have existed for a very long time, and this seems to be encoded in our DNA. Um. Bussy, bussy. Yes, because we see the remnants of the Kochik still today. What does this remind you of? Right here. Uh, uh, belly dancers, really? It's a rhetorical because I think you know uh, the remnants of the Kochik still today. That is Link, Gerudo Link. Yes. Oh my the god, the no! Um, no! Be Lilac Wait, an edge! She's right, though! And the reason no, why we like it why so is much right? is because, it, again, it's in the blood of our ancestors. I think we would be wrong to talk about femboys without at least mentioning the word trap. I do not like this word, but to not talk about this word in discussion with femboys, femboys are just it, trapped, it's just though. ignoring the obvious. I don't like this word. The implication of the word trap implies this. Like, uh, like femboys, like trap just... Secretive, like uh, evolved malicious, into like the undercover, word femboy like you're kind tricking of. Pe people, right? Deceitful, like you're tricking them or, or you're, you're trapping them, right? And so, you know, the origins of the word, I think, were referring to like an anime um, a boy that is that is effeminate that looks like a girl, right? Yeah. Sometimes more attractive than the girl. Not to be <laughs> yes. confused with a trap, as in the ghetto, you know, where, Wait, where people are stuck in a cycle of selling drugs and hustling hey, to survive, and therefore trapped. And a stolfo, yep. A stolfo, exactly. No, that's, a, that's, a, that's the trap. We're talking about traps. I think originally it was supposed to stay, you know, in terms of fictional realm. Right, but I don't know who co-opted this word, exactly. started to apply it to real people. Bente That's when we start to get into this territory of, again, I don't Hideyoshi? like this, this, this pretext of like Hideyoshi we're trapping is. people. I really don't like this use of the word and why I think this is very outdated, right? Like first and foremost, the girl from, it's ah, being used like with malicious wait, intent. The girl it's from being used as a, like a derogatory oh, oh, term. Oh, yes. Right? First and foremost, but there's a secondary aspect that I think we aren't even acknowledging, which is that that's the guy, not the girl. It's like fundamentally flawed and wrong to equate the word trap with with a femboy or to equate the idea of a trap with a femboy. Why? Because I'm not being fooled. I'm actively seeking out the dick and the bussy. I'm not being fooled. You know what? He has a point. Is first and foremost that these are men, that they have dick <laughs> at this point. It's just, again, forget the, forget the derogatory usage of it. It's just simply not right. It, it, it's counterintuitive. The dick the makes it better. The modern appreciation, um, the modern um, usage of people being femboys, because I, you know, I think if you're, if you're a male and you want to be a femboy, Mm -hmm. I don't think that it's not right to for you to feel like you need to pretend to not student. be male. I think the point of 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 fembology of femboyology the reason food is exists, that it can I guess be a so. sort of empowering feeling. You can be a femboy and not be afraid to say that I can be a feminine and a male. I'm not. I'm not trapping anyone. I'm not fooling anyone. That's not my intention. And if you're seeking it out in that term that's just we're not about that why do i feel strongly about this because i myself have engaged the practice and i guess uh -huh. this comes to my next point uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. the next question is i get you know the question is i'm talking about femboys yeah we're lecturing about femboys yeah professor lando are you a femboy i will be providing you some uh, contextual media uh for reference so um in in
Oh, hey, 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 yo. This is... <laughs> My research uh, in Fembology, I uh, was in the field, some anthropological work as a femboy. And this is me um, practicing Very the cute, art yeah. of Fembology in the field. Right. Some people, they join Red Cross and they go across mm -hmm. the seas to help mm -hmm. impoverished mm -hmm. nations, impoverished communities. Uh, some people do missionary work for the church. Some people um, enlist uh, in the military, um, put their lives in the line. Uh... I dressed up as a Stolfo uh, at an anime convention. To classify someone as a femme boy? Is there a ratio of, of, of time spent dressing up feminine, wearing makeup, doing feminine things versus being, you know, masculine or just being, you know, themselves as in male? Um, that seems like gatekeeping to me. And that doesn't seem right. Is every once in a while enough to be a femboy? You want to say that you can just be a femboy no matter how much. But however, if you're going, if, if you're trying to lose weight and every day you eat mcdonald's and one day out of the month you eat a salad doesn't mean you're dieting you know what i mean do i have to constantly shave my here's body a point. to be a here's a point every here's day? a point do i even need to do it at all i don't know saying it out loud i want to say no <clears throat> once a femboy always a femboy <laughs> much like the marines i think a femboy lecture would not be really complete without some mention of popular references and in pop culture aka femboys uh as you can see here i have um, ample uh, artifacts of uh a certain character named astolfo from fate grand order i gotta mm -hmm. make sure not to draw this too quickly respectable to, just to avoid rousing suspicion Astolfo, Rider of Black. I really like Astolfo as a character, but I would hate to boil down Astolfo to simply being the gateway drug of femboys. I do think that, it, you know, we need to acknowledge that Astolfo is, is, is sort of that, is the marijuana of femboys, the gateway femboy. Let's throw up some examples. Hidori from Blend S. I recently started playing this game. Venti from Genshin Impact. Okay. Okay. Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Wait, what? Sasha from Animal Crossing. Yes. Let's talk about the fact that Cloud? femboys come in all different shapes and sizes. We, we, we talk Cloud? about do I need to be shaven every so day? So do I have to yeah. be, you know, this is a boy? Yes. femboy look all the time? I want to say no. I think, I think that's the right answer. Uh, you know, we are all connoisseurs of femboys. Uh, I, I imagine sort of like a fancy masquerade, right? Like it, uh, some European, we're all wearing suits and ties and we have swirly mustaches. Classical music is playing, you know? Mm -hmm. mm, yes, mm -hmm. indubitably, I've come here uh, to the... Uh, welcome everyone to the monthly gathering of us femboy connoisseurs. Uh, my mm -hmm. name is uh, Sir... Sign uh, me up! Uh, 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 Where can I sign up? Where can I sign up? Well, Worthington the second. I need to uh, sign up for this. Uh, president of our here chapter of the femboy connoisseurship. And, uh, and I do like to enjoy my femboys to be uh, a certain way. And, you know, I have my preference and you know, you know how it is. For me, personally, enjoy my femboys to be yeah. a little more masculine. So this is going to be controversial. You well, know, no. some characters the in anime, their build and voice are basically just a girl, a.k.a. Hirari from Blend S, which is fine. You know, you, to be a femboy, there's a spectrum. Mm -hmm. But to sure. me, these, these, these characters are just femboy in name. Uh, for all extensive purposes in their media, they're simply another female character. Why even make them a femboy? It almost seems like pandering at that point or something. There's, where's the pandering boy? Pandering towards Again, the femboys, oh my god. There's some out there that are very feminine, very fema feminine presenting, and that's fine. But I'm just saying that in terms of being a femboy, don't be so worried about being uber feminine. Cloud is a perfect example of my ideal I've learned family. a lot. Maybe because I relate I've to the character lot. more physically, mentally. Uh, I think that's part of it. Uh, maybe sort of projecting myself onto the character. Cloud is very, um, you could even say built, very, very masculine. Compared to characters like Hirari and, and Venti, 
Link very much fits into this category. Yeah. You know, not like masculine as like huge honking macho, like huge characters. You know, to see characters like Cloud wearing the dress, cross dressing, getting dick down in the bathroom of the Honey Bee Inn in Final Fantasy, there's something more something relatable specific. to me there. Um, I would like to cap this lecture by simply saying that, that I believe the taint is the male version of cleavage, um, where, where the mound. You know, you, you talk about purple mountain majesty, you know, this sort of mound, um, the, 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 the great American dream. Have you watched or read My Dress Up Darling? There also is a fanboy in it. I have read it, but I don't remember the fanboy. Did I say read? I watched it. I watched it, but I don't remember the fanboy in it. Rather, where the taint meets the top of the balls, that is like a golden zone. And uh, much like where the thighs meet the thigh high, um, I do think that is sort <sighs> that of is... like the male version of cleavage. And uh, now that I'm thinking about it, oh. I might just be gay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. I thought it's not gay! <laughs> Ah, we love Professor Solando's lectures out here. Well, chat, how do I, a woman, become a fanboy? Since you guys want Kitsu to have a dick so badly. How can I ever satisfy you guys? 